friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to our little community. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're not new, you may have noticed something a little bit different about this video I'm recording here. And it just so happens to be that I'm starting the video with my face. And I wanted to come face to face with you guys and say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support I've been getting on the channel so far. But today we are going to be building in The Sims 4. The last video I posted was about me building an entire trailer park for where Werewolves, and it really inspired me to have a lot with multiple houses on it. I just really liked the way it came out and I thought it was such a good idea. I'm gonna post a picture here but this is the inspiration for what I want to build. We're gonna do something similar, maybe not exact or maybe exact, I don't know. That's just kind of the vibes I'm going for. But first things first, I do really like the like shape they have going on and I think we could mimic that if we put blocks here and then just push it in kind of like this and then we can come up here and copy and paste i'm not sure exactly how many floors i want this place to have maybe three but i don't know part of me is feeling like that's a little too much you know maybe a little excessive and also i mean the back is kind of ugly so i was thinking what if we kind of like push them out like this and then we can put like a roof piece just to give it a little bit more shape and i was thinking that back there they can definitely have like their own porches and everything and of course we'll put this all in a foundation so that it's still kind of tall like how the picture was but like i said we're not doing it exactly like the picture you know so it's <laughs> It's okay if ours looks a little worse. Okay, and then as for roofing, they kind of just have like two gabled roofs on each piece, like this, and then they just like mimic it in the front here. And if we just go ahead and copy and paste this each time, we should end up with something like this. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. Oh, and then we can use these mailboxes from Snowy Escape and kind of put it on the edge of each one. Oh, I quite like that idea a lot actually. And as for doors, the closest door I could find to what was in the picture is probably this one here, except they were all like different colors. And that's the thing about it. I kind of want a door like this that has a bunch of different colors. Oh, and you know what? I'm not mad at this at all. This is actually really cute. I love this door. I didn't even know this door was base game. Okay, and then of course we'll add like a little gravel path or something leading up to each one. I know it's ugly, but it'll all look better once we add like paints and everything, so stick with me a little bit. And then as for the back, I was thinking, what if each home had like their own fenced in little area, you know? Like they each had their own backyard. I feel like that would be really cute to have. Nothing too big, you know, because they are like Kind of sharing this space so i painted this house green because i really liked it but i didn't entirely love the red and white so i was like should we do the complete red door oh see this is actually really cute and i love the different colors now i feel like the only thing that's missing is like some columns along the side to separate everything probably these get together ones i always use them they're just so simple like i wish we had more simple ones like this and i guess we'll use the black to outline it considering we have black on the foundation now it just looks like a drawing out of a cartoon i don't know okay i don't know we're gonna move on maybe after i put windows it'll look a little better i'm like over here judging it and we haven't even finished the build yet okay the closest windows I found were definitely these ones from Strangerville. They're actually kind of cute. I really like them. I usually use them on my like normal build, the white variant. It's just so perfect to me. This one here, it's just so gorgeous for no reason. I think it's because it's simple. It's white. It's like two panels together. I don't have to like manually place it. It's just perfect. I don't know. Okay, everyone, be honest. How are we feeling? I like it kind of i think i don't know are these lines like these random lines right here ruining it i can't even delete it i don't know what i did but i can't delete it so i think they're gonna stay but it's really cute i think i like it and then we can go ahead and like add these shrubs here i like these they give like a nice manicured look which i feel like this type of townhouse would have see look at that and we can just add some shrubs and some trees hmm, i don't know we'll come back to the flowers but i think trees is where i need to stay for right now it's definitely the easiest thing to do for me and maybe we can use these ones from cats and dogs since they blend into the environment really well pro tip for anyone building always use the trees that come with the environment 
It just makes your lot feel like it actually belongs there. See how the trees made everything look so much better? It just looks like it flows in with the environment. Okay, that's nice. Well, I think that's the entire outside done. Unless we start working on like these back partios. Partios? Back patios. Which we could start doing. I mean, it is outside, but I was gonna do it like after we finish the inside. But it uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to do it now. Okay, well here is the back. Really simple. They have a really small backyard. I might put like gardening pots or something. I don't know, but let's hurry up and finally move on to the inside. And I think I want all of these places to have kind of a similar layout, but it won't be like exactly the same, you know? Like I might put the stairs in the exact same place though, only because I get really bad at placement of stairs and I never know where to put them until it's too late. But I guess we can work on our first house here. And oh my goodness, these are so skinny. I didn't even realize how small they are. But I think this would make a good bedroom. Maybe like a kid's room. Yeah, that's like perfect. That could fit in here. And then we can have the living room like here. And we can have dining and the kitchen. And that would mean that our stairs could go somewhere like here. And we could go ahead and like cover them. And maybe even sneak a little bathroom here. And then upstairs we could have the master bedroom up here. Kind of in this tucked away corner. And then I don't know. We could have like a another weirdly shaped room here. <laughs> I don't know why I made it so strange, but I'm thinking that this could be another bedroom of some sort. And then that's that. That's that layout done. It's actually a really nice layout. I'm happy that we were even able to get something. Okay, and I was thinking like, what if I decorate this first one? And then if you wanted to download this build off the gallery, you could definitely come and decorate the other two. That way you can add your own touch to each of them and make them a little different in your own way. You know, I just want you guys to have some creative freedom. Okay, and then starting with our layout, I do believe I want the living room to be here in this area. So we can definitely go ahead and get us like a nice wall TV. And what if we use this sofa from Paranormal? I didn't even know we had this sofa for like the longest time until one of my videos. Guys, it is gorgeous and I literally never use it. So maybe now is the right time. And I love that swatch so much. In fact, all of these swatches are absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, and then we can get this chair here from Horse Ranch. I absolutely adore this chair and it matches really well with this little blanket we have here. Hmm, or what if we scooted everything over kind of like into this corner over here? And then that way we could probably get us like a nice coffee table and a nice rug maybe. Maybe one a little bit smaller though. I quite like this rug from the Modern Lux kit. We can definitely use it. I don't know what color color though. Is that too much? Maybe. Maybe it's a little bit too much. I still love that rug so much though. I wouldn't trade it for anything. We'll just go ahead and use this rug though. I know it's really ugly. I, I'm not really a fan of it right now, but I'm trying to try some new things and maybe we could make it work. Like how I want to try and make a computer desk fit here, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Oh, unless we use this one from Tiny Living, then we can definitely fit a computer here. But I think it's more of a problem with the chair. I'm not sure if this will be functional. Okay, and then over here in this kitchen area... We're going to have a kitchen. Surprise. <laughs> and I don't know what counters I want to use. Probably these same old counters I always use. And maybe we could even use this swatch instead. And we can have our counter space kind of like this. And then that way we can go ahead and put our stove in that empty space. And we can go ahead and put our sink here. And then we do have this weird corner where I was thinking we could put our fridge. Yeah, I really like that. And then we can put our trash can kind of right next to it. And then we have these upper cabinets. Guys, the only thing I don't like about these upper cabinets is the fact that they're like ugly. Like... They have the blue tinted on them, and I'm not really a fan of that, like the blue tint. I wish it was like just clear, you know? 
Am I the only one who thinks that? Okay, and then I just finished going around putting these windows, and I just realized they're like a brownish color, right? Okay. I'm going to pretend like they're still black, and I just can't tell that they're brown. Anyway, and then we still need a wallpaper. You guys know my go-to wallpaper if you've been with me for a while. I love this Parenthood wallpaper, and not just in this color either. I love like all the colors. And then all that's left for down here is a bunch of decorations and plants and pictures and stuff like that. That, and we can definitely do that but let's move on to the bedrooms and the bathrooms really quickly as for this first bedroom i do think i want to use this cute princess bed here it's adorable and it has some really nice swatches actually i think i want to go ahead and try and use this purple one here high school years actually came with a lot of really nice stuff and it's actually one of my favorite packs to build with i'm so happy that we did get a pack like that i was so excited to finally have stuff for my team sims but then i was immediately disappointed with the high school but it's okay we don't worry about the gameplay aspect we're just here for the build and buy items <laughs> okay well this room is finished i'm actually in love i'm happy i actually want this room for myself my favorite part is definitely this eggs on toast thing and if you guys are curious where i got this rug from it's actually this rug right here this like really ugly rug that we always brush by i I didn't even realize it had all these super cool swatches like there's square rugs there's this rug there's this kind of rug look at this cute little kitty oh my goodness there's this rug and there's even a simple black and white swatch of like this really simple rug like what the heck all of this was hiding behind this ugly thing right here why did they do that okay and now for the bathroom it should be really simple i think i'm gonna give us like a regular shower probably this one right here and then we can go ahead and put this really small sink and then the toilet that goes with it and kind of scoot these close together. Hopefully this is still functional. I'm feeling like it is, so I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, well, I put a few little decorations, nothing too crazy. You guys know I'm not the best when it comes to these things, but this is what we have. It's actually kind of cute. Maybe we can even stick a robe here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> And that is the whole downstairs done. Mine is the decorations, but I'll come back and do that another time. On to the upstairs. I literally never know what to do with these corridor spaces, these empty hallway spaces. I have no clue. Maybe we can go ahead and put this cute little end table here. I don't know. And then I don't really know what to put here, except for maybe like a chair of some sort, maybe in this random corner. Someone please help me. Like, immediately and then a painting for you a painting for you a painting for you and then a giant empty wall i did the bathroom here really quickly um it's just a bathroom so there's nothing really special about it but now we can move on to this other kids room and for this one i might go ahead and use this bed here from snowy escape why? Because I've never used it. <laughs> I just literally clicked it because it looked interesting. I have never seen this bed in my life of playing The Sims, guys. Like, ever. I have no idea what wallpaper to use. That's always my enemy. Anytime I'm building something, it's always wallpaper. How do you guys know what wallpaper to use? Maybe I'll use this one. I mean, it has, like, kind of some of that in here. I don't know. Or maybe we need like an actual wallpaper with like a pattern on it. Or you know what? I kind of like this wallpaper for like a kid. I wonder if they have like a matching bed for this. Not really. I mean, but we could just go ahead and use the white bed. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then I was thinking like maybe right here we could put like, I don't know, a dresser, right? And then over here we could put a toy box or maybe like some giant stuffed animals. I think they would have something cute like this, a little dinosaur. And then maybe a nice little toy box here. Oh, we could also add like a kid violin. I feel like that would be really cute. I never give my kids violins because they are so annoying. But we can go ahead and add one here. And then as for a rug. Oh, this one is perfect. Like actually, that's really cute. It matches really well cute well that's this room done maybe we can add some paintings though like some little kid ones 
Maybe we can put this decal here and then put some of these around. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, well, that's this room complete. I really like it. It's really cute. It's just for a kid, you know. It's um, it's kind of empty, but not really. I feel like it's a good enough space for the weirdness of the room. And then for our final room of the house, we have the master bedroom. And dare I say, I go all out with modern looks. And then we can add these nice paintings which I absolutely adore. We can make sure to get our nice rug, super cute. And then we can't forget our dresser. Ooh, and you know what? I forgot that there's this TV that comes with the kit. We can definitely put that here in front of the bed. Fancy. And then we can rearrange the photos here. And then we can even add this little vanity table here, which I absolutely love. Nice. This is so nice, guys. I love this kit so much. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, definitely I recommend 100%. It's so gorgeous. And like I said in my review, we definitely needed more modern furniture like this. Like, look at this light. Oh my goodness. Well, that's this room done. Love it. Can't stop saying that. And that's the whole entire upstairs. And then for like some finishing touches here downstairs, like some paintings maybe. And then voila, we are all finished with this townhouse right here. It's super cute and I love the way it came out. This room is definitely my favorite and this kid's room and this room right here. The bedrooms are just my favorite. I did the best on those definitely. Well, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me that you guys show your support by liking the video, commenting, and if you're new and and like the content on my channel you should consider subscribing i hope you guys really enjoyed the build and i look forward to you guys downloading it and doing whatever you want with the other townhouses i may or may not go back and decorate the other two for my regular gameplay but that's all i have for you guys peace and love to you all until next time